such a romantic. The joy of it is in the fantasy, is in the romance, and I think he really embraces that. And doesn't just put it into the clothes, but puts it into the entire production. It's no wonder John Galliano isn't talking to the press after a show like that. He must be exhausted. But fortunately, we did get an inside track on all the different elements that went into that collection. A very typical mad melange, which all comes out in the end as a deliriously happy celebration of fashion. John gave me these five um, themes, and it's like, combine them. So it's like, OK, we start off with Coney Island, and then combining it with the stories of Edie Beale and Andy Warhol on holiday, you will see pieces that relate to each part of the set. It's going to be a beautiful show. I love the theatrics, it really inspires me to be more eccentric. Beauty comes in different forms. He is referring to his own past a lot more in what he does, I think. I think, you know, John Balance is a big world. I mean, he works in a very commercial business, you know, Dior and Galliano. He's a romantic, sensitive person. He's very close to the people around him. I think he touches on all that stuff, maybe more so now, you know, Stephen Robinson's death, who knows? All those things that, you know, mean something to him. I try to give it life in a different way. What I really try to do here is to get the girls to interpret these characters that John has been dreaming of while he was designing the collection. So to one girl I'll say, you know, pet the bird, and to the other girl I'll say, go on somebody's lap, and the third one I'll say, play with the boy on the eye chair, you know. But, and, and hopefully by the end of that it makes a collage that gives a story. He has his own sense of style in his own sense, and it's not just like a play or a mise en, mise en scène or a show, it's, it's him. And that's why he's great, because it's real. Designers and couturiers shouldn't be intellectuals, you know? They're working for the desire of women, for their frivolity. No one should be ashamed of that. Well, he was hitting all the trends. I didn't feel this was really about a trend. To me, it was just about John sort of picking out all the, the motifs, icons, symbols, and then just raising the bar. He has just spectacular vision. There's enough quirkiness in what he does, and I think his customers have a real attitude. So you'll be carrying that collection in your shop, won't you? Yes, my favorite. This collection, I love it so much. I'm going to buy all of them now. <laughs> Girls love pink, don't they? Pink makes me the people happy. It was a celebration of Stephen, of John, of it was just vibrant, elegant, sexy, beautiful, gorgeous. What will you wear? There's so many things I want to try and squeeze myself into. It's about. Let's get back there and get some. <laughs> I know.